Welcome back, guys. You know what's happening. We're back with the freezing off road tips on how to survive in the wild. So, before I showed you guys how to catch a lizard with the noose uh, piece of grass, but I didn't show you guys how to tie it. Now, that's what I'm going to do today. So, first thing you want to do is get a regular piece of grass. Make sure it's all flexible and green. There we go. Take the end here, go down a little ways, and then break it off. So you're just left with some green stuff here. And then you may have to bend it gently. But you take the end here, just kind of flex it. It's not too bad if it bends and twerks a little bit. But as long as you take it around, Take it, go full circle, like so. And you can just wedge it up. We'll use your finger to flatten it and kind of bend it to a round circle. But you take the end of it after you wrap it in a circle over the top. Take it underneath, right here. You go underneath and through the circle, down through the bottom. And then you go back to the original piece end here. Wrap it over the top and back through the hole like so so basically another knot and then you may have to work it down but depending on how thick your piece of grass is it shouldn't be too hard and now you just gently tie the knot tighter and get a good cinch on it you just be careful not to snap the grass while you're at it Work, work it down and it doesn't have to be perfect because as long as it can just cinch and there you go so you have basically a noose and this might just get in the way so you just break that off there and the rest of it you just kind of go along with your fingers right here and you go to all of the pieces of grass and just kind of flatten it like a piece of rope so it all bends freely instead of weird angles you just go all the way around until you have a pretty good size circle. And so there we go. That's how you tie the noose, guys. It's all well positioned. And let's say this is the, the lizard's head. You're reaching in the crack there. You reach it in over his head. Kind of get it past the bulge of his head. So it cinches around his neck. And then when you tighten, it actually cinches. If you used a different knot, it actually probably wouldn't have done that. So if you just go and then shink and pull him out of there, it tightens with the force of him resisting and then with him kind of basically dangling on it. And then to release the lizard, you just basically push forward with the piece of grass that you're holding here and releases the back out here. Now you know how to make the noose, which is very important to basically catching a lizard with a noose because you have to know how to cut, make the noose, so. <laughs> Anyways, that's how you do it, and you can just bend it and make it nice and round, and with funny thing is, with these nooses, you can catch anything, like you can catch fingers, you can catch toes, anything you want to catch. Good practical joke on friends. So yeah, it's a multi-purpose noose made out of grass, and you can catch anything, so. Let's go catch that lizard, guys, and prove this actually works. Okay, boys, there's our lizard. It took me a while to find him. They're getting scarce around here. I've eaten too many. <laughs> just kidding. But I'm going to use my noose here that we just made. We're going to catch this guy. So, as you see, you slip it around his head. He got away. Don't worry. I know I messed up. This is why. I gotta make sure it's loose enough. There we go. It should be good. If you get it too tight, it won't want to cinch. So let's try that again with another lizard. Okay, guys. I found another lizard back there. And I also tied a new string here. And it's much, much thinner. I don't know if you can see that. But the thinner the actually the grass piece, the easier it slips and bends. 
instead of quirking at weird angles. But you gotta make sure it's thick enough to hold the weight of the lizard. Anyways, slight tip there. Let's see if it helps me. I'm gonna reach it around his neck, hopefully it's big enough. And hopefully he doesn't run away. Come on. There we go. And then with a kind of a soft, gentle yank, you have him right there. This guy's a nice little blue belly. Fence leather. Lizard. <laughs> Lizard, guys. Anyways, that's how you catch him. So, to release this baby, let's move over here. I'll set the camera up for you guys. Here we go. To release the lizard, you just hold him in front and then grab him. You may yank a little bit. Oh, there he is. So, anyways, that's <laughs> the lizard got off that one because my string was actually a little too thin, but that's okay because he got off anyways. But to release him, you just do what I showed you earlier. And then they can come right out. You just grab them and out they go. So, if you ever want to catch a lizard and you want to eat it, you want to <laughs> just look at it, closer inspection of wildlife, then that's how you do it. And now you know how to tie the grass piece as well. And yeah, I hope you appreciate this video. It took me a while to get these lizards to cooperate <laughs> but anyways that's what i wanted to show you guys today and please join me on freezing off road outdoors tips next time so join me on the next video guys see you then